Big West opener for the UH men's volleyball team tonight. Good evening, I'm MG Montemayor. Third-ranked Rainbow Warriors put their 13-match home conference win streak on the line when they hosted fifth-ranked UC Irvine. Bows looked in top form coming out strong in set one. They took the first frame 25-17. Ant Eaters managed a set two takeaway though, 25-22. Then it was all Hawaii from here. Stein Van Tilburg complete beast tonight with 21 kills and five digs. Rado Parapunov also with 21 kills. Last two sets win 25-22, then 16. UH wins its first ever Big West match in four, improving to nine and one overall. They'll get the Ant Eaters for a repeat tomorrow at 5 p.m. A 4-0 start for the UH baseball team for the first time since 1999. Guys look to stay unbeaten in the second game of the series versus BYU tonight. Dominic DeMero with a start on the mound. Rainbow Warriors got on the board first in the second inning, courtesy of Adam Fogel, who hit a high-flying home run that went over left field wall, already his second of the year. Same inning, Logan Polson with his debut at bat this season, launched here an RBI double into right center for a 2-0 Hawaii lead. Not enough, though. Tied at three after nine innings, Cougars pull off the win in the 10th, handing UH its first loss of 2018. Final 4-3, doubleheader tomorrow with the Cougs. First pitch is at 12.05 p.m. UH softball team dropped another pair in a doubleheader today with Weber State in Los Angeles. First game went 11-2, second game went 4-1. Rainbow Wahine fall to 5-6 this season. They'll get one last shot against the Wildcats tomorrow morning. Rainbow Warriors riding a three-game win streak as they head into the home season finale versus UC Irvine tomorrow. Greatest memory is Rainbow Warrior. Hopefully it's still to come. I, I, I'm hoping that the end of this season, that'll be my best memory. But the time with my brothers here has been great. With the connections that I've made here, I've had a lot of fun times. But uh, I think our best is yet to come. Gibbs and Johnson will be honored following the game alongside other seniors, Mike Thomas and Zach Busher. The 7-6 and six Bows tip off against the 10-4 and four Anteaters at 7 p.m. Final road game of the regular season for the Rainbow Wahine basketball team is tomorrow versus Long Beach State. Ladies picked up their first Big West road win of the year last night against CSUN. We have to get ourselves some separation. You know, we have to, to rise in the standings a little bit. So it is where we are. Whether or not I want to be in this position, it, it's where we are. So we have to come out with focus. We have to have better starts. We have to play 40 minutes of basketball, stop hurting ourselves. This team is very capable of doing that. Hawaii will look to improve its 4-9 league record against the 3-10 and 10 49ers. Tip-offs at 2 p.m. Hawaii time. I've grown up here, so I know what volleyball is to the state. So I think kind of having this beach volleyball component added, I think it's even more exciting to just add more and more of what we already love. So it is a very exciting sport to watch. And fifth-ranked UH beach volleyball team opens its season tomorrow at the Ching Complex. Rainbow Wahine take on 17th ranked Stanford at 1 p.m., followed by third ranked UCLA at 4 p.m. That's just cool having that right on the campus. I know, isn't it great? Yeah. I mean, especially as a more intimate crowd, too, mm -hmm. so you can get really into it yeah. outdoors. Don't have to go down to the beach. I know. Just, Hopefully, just no hang rain. Out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, MG. Well, trades took a little vacation this week, but they should be returning pretty soon, right, Pete? That's right. We'll actually see some light trains as trades as soon as 